Man, I love that jingle. Welcome back to Metroid Fusion, you guys. This is part two, and we are in sector two, the tropical one. The computerized Adam just informed us that we need to find the security controls for the level one blue hatches. Because we need to activate them in order to gain access to this area's data room, where we will get morph ball bombs. Also, I gotta stop getting hit by those guys. They do a ton of damage, actually, for an early enemy. But the blue security room is up this way. This is the tropical area. I don't know why, it kind of just looks like a dank, overrun vegetation place. Well, that's what tropical rainforests are, jeez. Use your brain much? Apparently not. But anyway, just like that, we're here at the security room. I like this animation too, I don't know. And I love that jingle! That might be my favorite fanfare in all video games. I think it even beats Zelda little fanfares. But alright, now that those are open, we gotta go a different way and stop getting hit by this dude. I practiced this a little bit too, and I watched videos, yet I'm still playing like Chrome. But I mean, I guess to be fair, a lot of these movement-heavy 2D games are kind of muscle memory after a while. You need to practice them before you can not suck. Get ready for this guy, though. Yes. See, I learned that from, like, two attempts ago. <laughs> I don't know, man. Well, here we are. Bomb data is now ours. It's really not Metroid until you get bombs, because then you can explore every nook and cranny like Thomas English Muffins. What the heck was that? I hear footsteps. It's here. But anyway, ignoring that and just getting these missiles now. Yeah, Sector 2 is a... That door is destroyed. Alright, we will use our new bombs to find a different path. Uh, what is in here? I, oh, it's just a save room. I haven't been going in there because all the videos I watched, nobody ever goes in that door. Now I know why. But yeah, Sector 2 is a maze of stuff. Look at we're in the green map territory. All of this stuff is uncharted. Like, that's this entire sector, but there's a missile upgrade up here. Which seems like you can't reach it right now, but if you bomb, this little handy thing appears. And there you go. And you definitely want to get it now, because backtracking for that is a huge waste of time. And speaking of that, the best ending of this game requires you to get 100% items and, man, that was a loud motorcycle that just went by. But, yeah, to get 100% items in less than two hours. And that's not really a very easy feat to do. The world records for 100% are like... In the in-game time, I think the world record currently is 103. Which, yeah, okay, the argument there is... The best speedrun, there's still an hour's worth of window opportunity to mess around to still get the best ending, but I don't know. I've been noticing that the game timer seems to really tack on the time faster than you would think. More so than Super Metroid does. Which makes sense because, for example, this, the time is still being ticked right now. Where Super Metroid pauses for little item grabs like that. That's an obscure item, by the way, too. I guess you would think to bomb a little corner like that, but I don't know. I just gotta learn this game, that's what it comes down to, wall jump. Yes, I love 2D movement. That's why 2D Metroids are so good, because you can just do like, little quick wall jump things like that. Avoid damage and it all just looks fluid and feels good. And I don't think any Metroid Prime game could ever recreate that, really. But yeah, this is a great example. Which door do you go in in this chamber? Luckily, I know, well, if I would stop getting hit, that this is the door that you want on this first pass through here. Watch out for this guy. I think the faster way to kill him is to hold a charge shot and then morph ball, because as soon as you enter morph ball, the shot automatically fires and one hit kills that dude. And you avoid his little spike shots by doing that. But I wasn't thinking. Energy tank, yes! And we are approaching another boss. Mini boss, really. Although, I don't know, this game doesn't really have big bosses like Kraid or Ridley or Dragon. 
a lot of the I think I would say almost every single boss feels more like a mini boss of sorts. This is one. This one is really strange too. A very strange design choice. We are fighting a giant condom. Ribbed for something. This guy is random. He does a certain number of hops, and then he does a short hop, and look at that. He literally is a condom with an eyeball. I don't know how I feel about this. Destroy it! Come on, do your little baby hop. There you go. Charge shot followed by a missile is a good insurance way to make sure you definitely hit. If you get caught by him when he comes down on you, sounds weird given this guy's design. Um, you just morph ball and lay some bombs and break out of it. Let's go. Really still not yet? At least he's doing the one hop now though. That's gotta be it. Yes. Nice, that was a nice grab of all those X-Parasites. Full missile recharge. One more. Oh, that was good. That was awesome. I love doing that. Just a quick dodge followed by a wall jump and we got high jump and jump ball. And yeah, that nice angle shot for the finish too. I don't know, there's something really satisfying about 2D Metroid movement. When you do things right, it really does feel good. That door is a little tricky. You gotta like shoot it and grab the ledge at the same time. Which the ledge grabs are automatic, but sometimes they're finicky. Yeah, this room I'm not- I gotta learn it. I gotta- When it comes down to the final cleanup of this game. Uh-oh. Destroy door. That's just really cool. A great way of setting fear in the atmosphere. You can jump down here and you will indeed get shot by that thing and it does like three energy tanks worth of damage in one shot. But speedrunners do it and you can still get away. But yeah, now all the enemies are suddenly these weird cocoons. But we want to come up this way. Is there anything else up here? No, but doesn't that look suspicious? Like there should be a secret tunnel there? It's the Metroid sense going off. There is a missile expansion here though, I do know that. Maybe I should stick to the videos I've watched in Kirby. I don't even know what percentage I got on my actual Game Boy Advance back in the day when this was brand new. I wouldn't be surprised if I didn't even get 70% completion and it probably took like four hours. But I don't know. I still have my cartridge somewhere. I don't know where my Game Boy Advance SP is either. I think I gave it to my sister because she used to play Tetris on it. Well, she was supposed to be sleeping. But that's just par for the course these days. Everybody's on their cell phone for like three hours before they finally fall asleep. It's not good. We've got trouble. Releasing the security lock may have been a bad idea. The SAX has invaded Sector 4 Aqua. With the blue hatches active, the SAX slipped in easily, you dope. I'll brief you in the navigation room when you arrive. All right, let's do it. Yeah, I like the abrupt music changes. This whole game is just scary. That's Metroid's thing, though. Always set in the fear. The SAX, an enemy with my strongest abilities. But does it have a reason? Probably not. It's just a killing machine. In my current state, I can't face it head on. The SAX is me, only heartless. I must stop it before it learns its potential and threatens the universe. Yeah, see, even Samus knows that she's a beast. The Sector 4 is clearly just right here. Two, four, six, eight, who do we appreciate? Samus, Samus, no, <laughs> that came out of nowhere. What the heck is wrong with me? Many things. But now we come to this beautifully blue place for the Aquamarine, Aquamarine, that's a good Santana song. Nice map, is it yours? The sector has taken more damage than expected. We certainly can't rule out the possibility that the SAX has a high degree of intelligence. But I digress. This is home to a large creature the researchers called Ceres. It moves at ultra high speed. Hmm. No doubt the SAX released it. So we must go to its breeding tank and give it what for. 
Be careful, some broken power nodes have electrified the water. Or power lines, whatever it said. Conserve energy as you go. I, this is in my first rodeo, this is Metroid 4. Don't be telling me, computer. I still want those Star Trek computers. I don't know, I just remember my dad watching Star Trek episodes, and there was one episode that, to this day, s sticks out in my head, because the lady is like, computer, give me a milkshake. And I think she orders a full meal, and then like that vending machine is just there, hot and piping for her taste buds. And why doesn't that exist in real life? Because you haven't made it yet. Dun, dun, dun. It's like the stupid DeVry University commercials that advertise their game design course. It's like, it's the greatest video game in the world, but you haven't played it yet. Why? Because you haven't made it. Yeah. I did attend DeVry University for like two or three semesters in that track, but I didn't see the commercial beforehand. And then I kind of had a social melt meltdown and wanted to go to a typical university. Perhaps regrettable, but I don't know. They say everything happens for a reason, but I think that's also a cop-out excuse for when you- to cover up for your mistakes in life. Just to be like, oh, well, everything happens for a reason. <laughs> But that is a very long way to this energy tank. There's no other way around it. But it's definitely something you want to grab. We don't have gravity suits, so this water is definitely kind of a pain. Gravity suit isn't for quite some time, too. But that's all right. Get out of my way, buddy. So now that we have that energy tank, let's come down here. Ah, yes, this room. There's some more hidden stuff here. But there's a thing about this room. Avoid the electric water. Although, actually, you can jump in it. It doesn't do too much damage, actually. Up here. Very hidden on the top of this thing. You just automatically morph ball and voila, here's the missile expansion. I wonder how many times it would take to play this game before you know it like the back of your hand. Probably by the end of this Let's Play I'll know it, but it's all being stored in my short-term memory as I watch walkthroughs and stuff and take my own stabs at these little segments. But will I play it again after that? I don't know. There's really no point to. It's kind of like what I was saying in Yoshi, like why ever replay a game? I think it all goes back to comfort zones and fun factor and stuff. Cause all work and no play, well... Next thing you know, you're losing your mind. Save station? I don't think so, I'm just here for the little tunnel. But look at that on the map, we got the little boss face. Here's the breeding tank for Ceres. But there's nothing but bones in here. I just love that awesome way of creating fear. How many times am I going to say that? Alright, buddy, I'm in the water. Be nice to me. That's not being nice. Come on. I could do this all day, pal, but I'd rather not. Under two hours. Okay. Oh, I should be using Charge Beam. Oh, well, I'm already doing this. Yeah, because Charge Beam has several factors that, like, if you get right up in front of something's face and unleash your Charge Beam, the tail end, or like the initial burst of the shot, does a crazy amount of damage. It's the most optimal way of destroying things in this game. But you gotta get right in front of them so that that little burst does something. But here's Ceres, this guy's clearly got the speed booster, and I do not have his pattern memorized at all, which could delay this fight a little bit. But I know he comes flying right up alongside this thing from the left, usually. He might do it? No. Yeah, I'm definitely wasting a ton of time here. But as I said, I don't have his patterns memorized, so I can't predict where he's gonna be. Ah, Croyd! Face the other way, why don't you? Alright, got him. That was perfect. That was right inside the pocket of the charge shot. So that was a high damage hit, I'm pretty sure. Yes! Oh, that I should have waited a little bit till he got closer. 
right, here we go, coming from the left. No, I was hoping for that giant swing. Just gotta hold down next time he does that. Where are you? There we go, that's what I was waiting for. All right, that was definitely very slow, but... It's not game over yet. But I do want that best ending. It may be that I record all of this, and I don't get it. Come on, get up there, jeez. This is the sloppiest thing. It... There we go, that thing like fully recharges you. And now we got Speed Booster, the kingpin of 2D Metroids. The whole reason why they're better than 3D. Well, a huge reason why, not the whole reason. Let's see if we can do it. Shine Sparks. Oh, you bonked the wall! Dang it, man! I'm very tempted to reset right now. Because that's the thing, you only have a few chances to pull off these cool shine sparks, and if you miss them, everything's ruined, and it's... It's like making a batch of brownies and then dropping them in the trash can before you get to eat them. You gotta capitalize on it, man. But anyway... I saved this. We could have accessed this, this way earlier, but I knew... Upon defeating Ceres, it takes you through here anyway. So now we'll get all these missile expansions that are in, in this little hidden place, and you'll see where it dumps us out. We could have gone here earlier. Ouch! Actually, I think that's these things' names. <laughs> Ouches. Ouches. It sounds like Ness's noise. He's like, ouchies! I don't know. But I believe that's it. Just those missile expansions? Yeah. Anything up here? No, wasting time again, but see, right up here. You, we could have stepped on this earlier and jumped up. But, uh, wait a minute, no, that's just part one. Get speed booster, now we gotta go back. We're not done in Sector 4 yet. Sector 4 is actually one of the areas you clean out 100% first. I do know this much. I went to McDonald's the other day. Because I make great life choices. And um, the lady in the drive-thru gave me a... She tried to really sell me on doing their little surveys, you know? You go to, like, howgoodwasyourmcdonalds.com or whatever it is. Mix survey. Boom! That's why we needed Speed Booster, to break through that. Water level lowered. That gives us access to a new missile expansion. Yeah! Shine Sparks. I love that. They're easier to pull off in this game, too, but they're... Ah, crud! We were so close to Venom. There we go. Lots of missiles. That's good. The super missiles of this game double up with regular missiles due to the button limitations of the Game Boy Advance. You can't have too many items up there to select between. Although I guess they could have if you press select. But I guess they figured that would be too clunky. Which I agree. I don't think it would work very well with the Game Boy Advance for some reason. Out of my way. I'm trying to run. But yeah, I actually did that McDonald's survey, and now I'm thinking about going there. I see you up there. Dang it, I should have stored that. You can shine spark in the water, and it doesn't affect your speed like it does in Super Metroid when you don't have the gravity suit. That's like a fatal mistake in Super Metroid, but in this game, it's not a problem. Yeah, get ready to jump! Oh wait, that's not yet. What? Oh yeah, the little golden ones. That's the thing, sometimes these rooms have multiple enemies that the X keep on reforming. But there we go, we did Sector 2, let's recharge. Sector 2 and Sector 4. 90 missiles already. I think we're on 100% pace here. I didn't miss anything yet. What's up, computer? So Ceres had been infected by the X2. Well, as a result, you recovered another ability. At this rate, you may be able to face the SAX yet, but that's still a ways off. HQ has more support data. This time, it's a missile upgrade. You desperately need this, but the data room here is sealed with a level 4 lock, the highest security level. Let's avoid opening unnecessary crap. I know a deliberate activity pattern blocking us from Sector 2. It looks like your best option to download is Sector 3. Peer. Pyre. It's Pyre, I think, because it's for Pyro. All right. So you kind of see what this game is doing. It kind of 
dabbles you in each sector, and then once you visit them all, then the story starts really blowing up. And that's good stuff. Any monologue? No, I think she's actually quiet for a while until, like, the next big climactic event. So now we gotta go way over here. The main elevator is still out of order. But we got speed booster, and that's amazing. Ah, I tried to time it right. I don't know how people would get used to that. Again, I think it's muscle memory, though. I love simple things like that. Just color choices, palette choices. Like the fiery area is orange and red. I don't know. Thankfully, the X have not invaded this area yet. The data room here is sealed by another hatch. In order to download, you must... I thought you just told me not to release unnecessary crap. Be careful, Thomas. You will see very violent things. Avoid the heated rooms. All right. Super missiles. All right, so that's our next objective. Open the level two green locks and get super missiles. Avoid the heated rooms because there's none on this path. Got it. However, that will be for next time. So thanks a lot for watching, you guys. And I will see you then. Take care.